The historic parliamentary core committee meeting with the NSC and IM was held today at Rhododendron Hall, police complex, Chumukadima in Dimapur. The chief and general secretary of the NSC and IM, T.H. Muiva, along with president of NSC and IM, Q. Tuku, were present at the meeting. Though members of the NSC and IM were not able to comment on the developments and outcome of the first meet between the two, Co-convener of the Parliamentary Core Committee, T.R. Ziliang, who is also the leader of opposition, informed that both groups understand each other and the expectation is that the two Naga negotiating groups to sit across the table along with the 60 elected members. There's a long gap. We have met them. Due to this lockdown, we could not communicate each other. But after a long time, we met and uh, we interacted. I think that was a very smooth uh, sailing, and they understood our point. And we also understood their contention. So I think our expectation is the two Naga negotiating group will sit across the table and along with the 60 elected members so that we could arrive at some kind of conclusion. And then uh, we have requested them to resume the talk with the government of India. And we will also pursue on behalf of them as a facilitator so that we can arrive at the common ground and uh, the Naga negotiating group will approach the government of India with, uh, with a common approach. So that's how we expect that uh, we, we can arrive at a kind of conclusion. In connection to the recent and most shocking state political developments of the Naga People's Front joining with the ruling PDA government led by the NDPP, Leader of Opposition T.R. Zeliang has confirmed that his party, the NPF, has agreed to the concept of an oppositionless government. While the core committee was formed under the banner of one solution, one agreement in regard to the Naga peace talks, Zeliang also made known that the concept of one government is mainly for the Naga political issue as well. Further, an MLA of the NPF has revealed that seven NPF legislators did not attend the meet, deciding for an oppositionless party, and the reason for their absence was only best known to them. Solution one agreement, and then now one government. Uh, is that related to the peace talks about joining the PDA alliance? Yes, very much. We have agreed to the concept of this oppositionless government because of this uh, Naga political issue. When we have opposition and ruling, we, we come together in the assembly, but we have differences outside the house. So if we are together in the government, we are not for any kind of post, mm -hmm. but if we are together, like framework agreement mm -hmm. was signed, that time was also we, we had the opposition less government under my leadership. So that is met down to the people, it is possible when we are together. And there is a way government of India will listen when we are together mm -hmm. and when we have common approach. With that perception, we have decided to agree to the concept of this opposition-less government.